Mr. Bernhard works here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. I asked him if he could tell me more about oil and especially where to find it. Welcome to the Houston Museum of Natural Science. You've come to the right place if you want to learn about oil. I learned in school that oil, gas, and coal are called fossil fuels because they're made from plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. That's correct, but we actually have to start further back than that when the Earth was first forming. Really? Billions of years ago, the Earth's crust began to move around on top of the Earth's hot liquid center. This movement created spaces between the land known as sedimentary basins. Let me show you. That's what I call research. Just imagine that the chocolate is the land and the chewy caramel is the Earth's liquid center. You see the sunken spaces opening? These basins made the perfect places for oil and gas to form. Cool. So what happened after the basins formed? These basins fill with water, forming oceans, seas, and large lakes. Billions of microscopic plants and animals thrived in these basins. How did the plants and animals become oil? The plants and animals died, and their remains piled up on the basin floor. This organic matter eventually transformed into oil and gas. Wouldn't the dead plants and animals just decay and decompose? Under normal conditions, yes. But for oil and gas to form, anaerobic conditions must exist. What are anaerobic conditions? Those are just places where there's no oxygen present. The organic material was then covered by sediment, forming distinct layers of sedimentary rock. Have a look at this. That's cool. So once the organic matter is covered with sediment, how does it become oil? The weight of the layers of mud and sand combined with heat from inside the earth turn the mud and sand into layers of rock. We learned that the deeper you go into the earth, the hotter it gets. That's right. And as the organic source rock was buried deeper and deeper, temperatures reached 100 to 150 degrees Celsius, cooking the organic matter into a gooey black soup that became black gold or Texas tea. Tony would like to hear about black gold. The rock above the oil may look solid, but it actually is very porous and contains millions of tiny holes. You see this flask of oil and water? Can you tell which layer's on top? It's definitely the oil. You're correct. Oil is lighter than water, so it keeps floating up through the spaces in the rock above it. It will eventually either reach the surface or be trapped by an impermeable layer of rock. You mean rock without holes? Yes. This layer traps the oil and it begins to build a reservoir. This information is really helpful. Now I just need to find out how you get the oil out of the ground. We've got some great exhibits here to help you learn how oil is extracted. Feel free to look around. Thanks, Mr. Bernhard. You might also want to talk to Mr. Wells. He's at the Ocean Star Museum in Galveston. It used to be a working oil rig. That would be great.